A flag represents a country's character and essence locally and globally. A flag acts as a country's logo internationally. Flags can be controversial. Confusion between the Australian and the New Zealand flag is not uncommon on the world stage. Hmm. In 1984, Australian Prime Minister Bob Hawke was greeted in Ottawa, Canada with the New Zealand flag. But the issue is not bound to Australasia. In 2004, Chad questioned the United Nations about the similarity of the Romanian flag to their own. The Romanian president quickly responded, The tricolour belongs to us. We will not give up the tricolour. Commercial hey, logos run into problems too. In 2008, T-Mobile threatened to sue TechSci Engadget for using magenta in a logo. T-Mobile went on to successfully sue AO Mobile over its magenta colour. So colour is a divisive topic. We wanted to know if there are any non-cultural, non-historical reasons for the uses of colours in logos. The benefits of these colour statistics could be huge for logo or flag designers. Especially if you don't want to get ignored, confused or sued. And we were just plain curious about things like, how weird exactly is the German flag? What would be the best colours for a new flag? Do flag colours correlate to a country's wealth? Can the colours used in a company logo correlate to its capital? To answer these questions, we needed to extract colour information. We used all 194 sovereign flags to test our ideas. We boiled down all this colour information into a manageable number of colours. We only needed relevant colour information, so we left out colour noise often present in digital images. We built a set of tools to extract the colour statistics. The first tool converts vectors of all the logos into quality bitmap images. The second tool breaks up all the logos into pixels and sorts them into a chart according to hue. This lets you see in one page all the colours present. Next we built a tool that visualises all this information in a 3D space according to its RGB value. We added a feature that lets the user group colours under one common colour. Some colours are hard to see but need to be added. An example is the flag of Belize. It has this really nice emblem with these two guys standing there. One has an axe, the other has a staff. One guy is light brown, the other guy is dark brown. There is also light blue for the sky and dark blue for the sea. Without these colours, the flag would lose its meaning. We built tools that let you add these colours individually or on a per flag basis to the colour model. An interesting fact to it about the human visual system is it has a quirk. It sees colours differently when they are adjacent to each other. With factors like this, it is important to compare the flags before and after the colour modelling process to make sure they are fair representations of the originals. We had some tricky cases along the way like the flag of Qatar, where we needed to add the colour purple for just that flag. So in the end, we were able to sort all colours in all 194 flags into a 12 colour model. We felt represented the original flags. Time to crunch the data. Drum roll please. The most popular two coloured flag is red and white. The best combination for a popular and unique new flag would be red and dark blue. Interestingly, the German flag has quite a rare combination with a probability of only 8.3. We found a correlation between the use of green in flags and the GDP of nations. This is probably a reflection of the fact that some of the poorer nations in the world tend to use green in their flags. So we took the system that worked for flags and we applied it to the logos of financial institutions. The system worked well. Turns out the bigger the assets, the less red was present in the logo. I guess this could be a sign of uh, red symbolizing debt? So if you're a logo designer and you want a great tool for helping you decide the best color combination for a new logo, download the tools for free. And just maybe, if you want to look for non-cultural, non-historical connections between color use and other factors, take a look at our data set. And if you want to know how your own flag figures for popularity, take a look at these stats.